Hi guys, this is Praveen Khanna and today in this video I am going to solve a cue card, describe a plant, vegetable or crop that you are familiar with. So let us start this video. India has geographically very strategic location due to which the country enjoys special type of climate and additionally big coastline in south and landlocked area in north create such a climatic variety which is found nowhere else and by dint of such climatic conditions there is diversity of flora and fauna available out of such diverse and potent plants basil plant has unique place it is known by the name tulsi in india the plant is considered sacred as per hindu mythology because of its divine healing properties this plant is grown all over the world for its aromatic leaves this plant relates to mint family Scientifically, the plant contains antioxidants and leaves as well as seeds are extremely useful. People often use its leaves in tea. Moreover, its leaves are used in many recipes because these promote health, heart and eye functioning, treat kidney stone, relieve headache and fever. fight against acne have anti aging properties and else to these these have multifarious applications according to ayurveda i got familiar with this plant in my childhood when one day i saw my grandmother worshiping it in our balcony then i came to know that it is deity and avatar of goddess lakshmi More to this on 15th November every year ritual of tulsi wedding is celebrated in hinduism the thing i like most about this plant is that it can be grown easily and does not need any special care it can be grown indoors as well as outdoors then it needs less water which makes it to be grown easily anywhere okay let's move to follow up questions first question do people in your country like to grow plants at home yes people like to grow plants whether they have land or not these days there is trend of having terrace gardens where people grow many useful plants like tomato onion mint coriander green chili rose marigold marjoram etc next question do old age people grow plants yes definitely old people love gardening as it is their favorite leisure activity these days because of youtube videos this activity has reached to another level this way they are not only growing plants but are also telling about health benefits of these to others next question how do schools teach children to grow plants Well traditionally schools have been teaching kids through science chapters about importance of plants and trees they are important to our ecosystem how these do photosynthesis reproduce etc else to this schools give sapling to kids on occasion of tree festival which is observed for a week from 1st july to 7th july at this event they are told to take care of trees and are encouraged to grow more as to this kids are taught to dispose kitchen waste to make organic fertilizer and are also told about other eco friendly practices to keep environment clean and green next question what is the main plant of your country as told earlier there are many plants and trees in my country here i think sacred fig which is called people banyan or called bargad neem old plum which is also known as jamun mango ashoka teak etc are the main trees i think the reason why these are main is not usefulness to we humans but their size because of which they give big shade they give larger space to animals and birds to stay and above all their capacity to release more oxygen next question do you know some of the advanced ways to grow plants due to increasing population and increasing demand of food there has been extensive research and development in field of agriculture here are some of many techniques employed to have high yield firstly there is aquaponics in which plants are grown on floats on pond having their roots submerged in water having fish here system of keeping plants and fish together benefits 
both and good yield of both can be guaranteed then there is also other technique used to grow more in limited space which is called vertical farming this method is extremely useful in big cities especially to the people who are crazy about growing plants in pots they can have terrace gardens where many climbers can be grown with using hybrid species of plants and big yield can be generated next question are there disadvantages to grow plants using modern technology there can be disadvantages if plants are grown to ensure more quantity than quality like in modern days agriculture heavy doses of fertilizers are used to have more yield from lands which are not capable further fruits are plugged unripened and are chemically ripened in stores else to this special chemicals are used to keep them look green and fresh for longer time this way the nutritional value of plant dies completely what is more fruits and vegetables get filled with poisonous chemicals which are harmful to health moreover regular use of land for practicing monoculture also ruins fertility thus underground water gets polluted useful pests and worms in soil get killed and land becomes dependent only on such deadly chemicals to grow more food So last question how do you think technology will change farming in the future well as said earlier technology is changing at breath taking pace i think method of chemical agriculture is if improved to make crop healthy and nutritious then this will be embraced wholeheartedly by masses additionally definitely organic farming will have more advancements and other techniques like aquaponics and vertical farming will definitely get more. what is more people will get interested to grow more for themselves in their kitchen as well as terrace gardens so guys that is end of this video and i as always hope that this video was helpful and informational to you guys happy practicing bye bye we'll meet in next video